Hey guys, Fix It John here. I, for those of you that are interested in my pineapples, uh, thought I'd show them to you before I harvest them. Uh, I'm getting ready to harvest them and uh, I've learned a little more uh, about pineapples, uh, just reading up on them. For the most part, they are uh, pest resistant and uh, pretty hardy, uh, it's a pretty hardy plant. But uh, they do get a pest, and uh, I'll talk about that and some other things. But uh, no, I have had some uh, horticultural classes. Uh, I don't claim to be a horticulturalist, though. But uh, anyway, uh, if you ever see ants, there's some right there. Let me see if I can get close up on them. There, see the ants? See the ants there? I even have one on my hand. But if you ever see ants on your pineapple plant, uh, there's a good chance that you have uh, what they call mealy bugs. Now the ants won't hurt your plants at all, but uh, what they do is they uh, harvest and tend to uh, a uh, scale. It's a mealy bug. And what the mealy bug does, let me get a close up here of the leaf. See those little white dots on there? Those are mealy bugs. And what they do is they suck uh, juices and nectar from your plant. And what the ants do is they, they sort of farm them themselves and, and they'll move them around from plant to plant. And there's some right there. Yeah. And what the ants do is they drink the nectar from the dew that the mealy bug produces. So they really, really want to protect their mealy bugs. And so what I do is uh, I don't spray any insecticide on my plant. What I'll do is uh, I'll take some uh, dish soap and fill up a bucket and I'll just dump it over, dump it over top the uh, pineapple and also I'll come out and uh, spray periodically with a uh, spray bottle. And I put some dish soap in that and water and spray them and kill the ants. Well, uh, the, you, you can wash the mealy bugs off, but you know, killing the ants will uh, slow them down and keep them from uh, producing uh, and help producing the mealy bugs by moving them around. Oh yeah, on this uh, plant here I was telling you guys about, uh, I was bragging about how it had uh, five uh, shoots on it. Now, that's all well and good, but if you leave the five shoots on it, you're going to have five tea tiny pineapples. Because what they do is they'll compete with one another uh, for a food source, and uh, you won't get a uh, hearty pineapple out of them. So what I'll do is uh, I'll rip these pups off. Let me rip one off right now. And you want to leave the strongest one. And, and you can take this pup and grow it there. Now, that, that's another plant right there by itself. That's what they call a pup or a sucker. There's also one here. Let me get a... This is a, a pup or a sucker because it's coming from the stem. So you can uh, propagate the plants uh, by agricultural method that they call the uh, they call it retune. And what retuning is is uh, you see that shoot down there? That's a shoot coming from the root system. Uh, also, we have a. Uh, and I'll show you what retuning is here. It, uh, we also have a sucker right there, but I think I'm just going to not worry about that one because I'm going to just take the whole plant out. Okay, and then my single plant. It was single uh, for a long time, but we have a sucker coming up from it also. Let me zoom out right there. See this here? This is a sucker, and if I leave it on there, it's just gonna compete uh, for food and uh, not allow that to grow big and hardy. 
So I'll take this one off and all you have to do is just uh, rip it from the trunk. And this is a plant by itself. That may be a stubble. That That is down low. And a stubble there. Yeah, that, that, see the roots on it? That is what, okay, see the roots on that one? I thought that was a sucker, but uh, that's what they call a stubble or a root growth. And that's a plant of itself. So we can plant that one. It already has roots on it. There's no need to uh, uh, put it in water. And we have one more here. And it's, uh, you can see that right there. We have one more right here. And it's a stubble. There. You see the roots on that one? Now we can just plant those in the yard. So now th this plant uh, won't be competing with these two other uh, shoots and it'll get all its uh, nutrients from the root system. So this is all I use right here to uh, uh, wash the mealy bugs off with some soap. And this also kills the ants to keep it from uh, harvesting and uh, protecting the mealy bugs. So I'm gonna harvest this plant here and you'll want to cut it uh, about an inch beneath the uh, fruit. And that's all it is right there. That's one of them. And you'll want to go an inch beneath this one. And that's what they look like. They're not a bad sized pineapple for a homegrown pineapple. They're healthy. And I'll be able to uh, regrow another pineapple using the crown of this these uh, pineapples. Now I can smell the pineapple from these uh, plants. Smell nice and sweet. That's when they're ready to harvest, when they're uh, sort of a golden yellowy color. All right, now, now this plant here will no longer produce a uh, pineapple so what I'm gonna do is uh, it, it's an agricultural process called uh, retuning and all that is is getting doing away with the old growth and just throw that away there was a pup coming from that one but uh, I, I'm not going to use it and we'll rip this one off All right, uh, pineapples are known as a uh, monocoque crop, and um, uh, bananas, sugarcane, uh, rice is all, uh, no, it, it's a monocoque crop, and all that means is that uh, you can tear the old plant off, just cut it down, and what you'll get is an instant new crop. And there's a uh, stubble coming up from the root base, just like I ripped off the other plant. And I ripped it off early because uh, I have a pineapple still maturing and uh, growing. So I, I don't want those two uh, stubbles to uh, take any uh, nutrition from the pineapple that's growing. So. Now, from what I read, you can do this uh, type of uh, agricultural practice two or three, four times. Uh, depending on pest, disease, and uh, uh, just overcrowding. A after three or four seasons, they'll just take a dozer and tip the ground over. But Here are the uh, two stubbles that I pulled off that uh, single plant. I went ahead and planted them only because they had some roots on them, and they're, they're pretty hardy plants. I've watered them in. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of root growth to get them going, but... Uh, uh, the, these should be fine.
So these are the uh, uh, suckers that I pulled off the plant, uh, uh, also known as pups. You want to uh, pull some of the uh, leaves back so it can get a good uh, start on, uh, on rooting. And just uh, take it and submerge it in the water. Don't go too deep where you're going to drown it. Uh, about to the same height you would plant it. So, and, and you'll want to leave that in the water until you start seeing some root, root growth. Hey guys, Fix It John here. It's been two, uh, two weeks. I just wanted to show you the size of it since I tore off the uh, the root suckers and uh, it's getting quite quite a bit bigger. And it, I don't know if I pointed it out, but it does have the two crowns at the top of this one here. Uh, as soon as it turns yellow, uh, golden color, it'll be ready to harvest. All right, guys, this is, uh, these are the, uh, both of these are the uh, crowns that came off those pineapples. And if you look closely, it's been two weeks. Uh, we're getting quite a bit of uh, roots on them. And these here haven't uh, quite rooted yet. These were the suckers off the side of the plant. You can see some little ones coming out. But I wouldn't be all uh, all worried about getting a, a nice uh, uh, root base on here because these uh, these plants they propagate pretty easily by cut uh, not from cutting but from uh, crowns suckers and from retuning. Uh, you can also propagate pineapples with seeds, but it's uh, a lengthy process. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to dig a little hole here. And, uh, you know, if it doesn't have a decent root base on it like this one does, you may want to water more frequently. And I'll just pour a little water in here. Throw the uh, dirt around the roots. I'm going to build it up to hold the dirt and the uh, water in. But when you water a, a, a pineapple, it's always good to water from the top here. That way the leaves, they'll hold the, uh, it'll hold the moisture in. And let me move this one over here and we'll go ahead and put this one in the ground. And don't bury it too deep. Just get the roots covered. And uh, you want to keep the soil moist, maybe uh, water uh, three times a week. You have two, two, maybe three, maybe even more pineapples out of this. Now these two here, guys, I don't know if you remember, but these were, uh, these were root suckers. And I, I went ahead and just ripped those off the, uh, the big pineapple down there and stuck them in the ground. These were not put in any water. I've just kept the soil moist and that's been two weeks. So you can see where they yellowed out a little bit. Maybe not enough nutrients getting to them because they weren't rooted good, but they'll come along nicely and uh, produce me a nice pineapple. So Hey guys, this is Fix It John. Uh, as you can see down here, the, these are the fruits of my labor. I didn't make it, my wife made it. She made a couple different uh, pineapple recipes. And I'll leave a link uh, up in the corner for her uh, blog. It's uh, backtomysouthernroots.com. And she has, if you don't like pineapple, she has uh, more than one recipe. But these are the crowns, the two crowns of the pineapple. And what you want to do is you want to get rid of all the fruit. Otherwise it'll rot. And cut it at the base. And then uh, these leaves are, are no good. And you'll want to peel these leaves back. So it'll start to root. This, look, this is a little root right here. See that? That's uh, a rooting. It's already rooting. So just peel these leaves back so the roots will come out. And what I like to do only because uh, 
and, and don't be afraid to rip too many, too many uh, leaves off here. These will die anyway. So you get your uh, crown looking something like that. And what I like to do is, uh, I'll put it in a cup of water, but I, I like to uh, use this uh, uh, aqua safe, it's for fish, but it, it disperses uh, chlorine. So it makes uh, water safe for fish and plants. I mean, you could go ahead and just drop the, drop the plant in there. It's not gonna kill it, but it's not gonna hurt it to dechlorinate either. So just put it in there. And same thing with this one. Just cut it, cut all the fruit off. Cause that, that'll draw flies, that'll it'll rot, and it, it just uh, it doesn't help the plant any. And you'll want to plant it when uh, you you see uh, roots all the way around it. You can just stick it. They're, they're pretty hardy. I mean, if your soil's moist enough, I've planted them just straight in the ground. It starts a little slower, but this gives it a head start. And and if you get suckers, if once this starts to grow, and if you get suckers, like I said before, you'll want to pull those off. So. Uh, this plant here does not compete for uh, nutrients. And just put it in there and make sure you're topped off with water. And uh, that's it. So, uh, oh, and uh, the pineapple. Oh, just delicious, man. Can't wait to. Mmm. Back to my southern roots. My wife, she is just awesome. She also made a. Uh, an upside down cake uh, in the uh, crock pot. But like I said, if you don't like pineapple, she's got a bunch of other uh, recipes. So remember, this is Fix It John. Thanks for watching.